Greetings and welcome back to Production Line. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I have reported that bug, um, and other people have too, where the stockpiles still aren't really working that well in 1.12. So hopefully that will get resolved soon. One thing that I would like to say is that I try to do a very regular schedule with my series, um, but this one. Uh, this game being changed so very often there are bugs that happen and sometimes I just prefer to wait until they're solved so do be aware that this may become kind of an irregularly scheduled series uh, where I don't necessarily post it every day I hope that's okay with everyone um, but in the meantime we will kind of I, I, I basically want to show what's new in each patch uh, and kind of build our factory along with that hopefully so I'm I'm hoping that's okay with you guys um, um, and we'll see where we can get with it. So, one of the things that we did not put down last time, but I wanted to and I forgot to, is the new power plants. They are hopefully here. They are down here. Look at this high output power plant. They look really cool. Uh, right, let's put one down. Wow, 70. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the power plants got... <laughs> got... Um, wow, that's interesting. Okay, there's a there's a discrepancy between regular power plants requiring four people and the high output require three people. That's interesting. Okay, so let's get the um, upgrade for efficiency. But I don't know how much these produce at all. Shoot. Alright, so if we do 130,000, let me just do the, the math here. 130, 464. Um, let's delete this. Minus 126, 360 is 4104. You write that down, 4104. And then the regular power plant. Okay, let's see. 126, 360. Um, Plus, no, minus, no, uh, hold on. Let's just do this the other way. Okay, this is 128, 160, 128. Oh my god, 128, 160. I should really be using a different calculator because there's no way to negativize the numbers on this one. Minus 126, 366 is 1800. But let's see how many though. So these guys take up three squares and the bigger ones take up, let's see, how many squares are those guys? One, two, three. So they take up six squares. Yeah, definitely worth. I thought they might've been nine squares. No, definitely worth price per square. Definitely, definitely better to get the high output plants if you can afford them. Uh, they are quite quite expensive. This is pretty interesting. Um, I know that it was mentioned in the patch notes that they should be more expensive uh, because of they seemed very cheap. So because I recall there were like five thousand or something like that, they were very very cheap. So I would like to maybe replace some of my old power plants with these new ones. Uh, the one good thing about the old ones is they do fit anywhere like in a highly interesting number of places so that's pretty good put one here maybe uh, let's get rid of some of these and i definitely want to get the the efficiency upgrade it adds point or it adds eight percent extra power very nice oh we have it really did i not Okay, I must have gotten them all, and I'm just not focusing on it. Okay, just get rid of all these, and we will buy until we have enough. Power plant, where are you? This is a tricky area. This one I could put here or here, and it sticks out the same way. It's very un -meowy. Okay, fine. But I like having smaller amounts of buildings. I think that's a good thing. They're easier to delete, <laughs> if anything. Oh my gosh. But they also have less employees, so they're cheaper to run to have these big ones, which is nice, I think. 
Okay, let's buy you. Okay, so we're still, we still need a couple. It would be nice if it did say on here, like, how much output, power output they, they, um, they generated, like, on the base amount. Okay, wow, we've cleared up this whole area, which is nice. Let's see if there's any spot, space here. Um, where we can really add these things. I could put, eh, no, 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 not enough space. Shoot. I like these big power plants. They look cool too. They really look cool. Um, hmm. Now yeah, there's a spot right there. Yes. They look really neat. These look like, I think these are new. The sprites, wow. I love them. They, they have this really cool texture to them. They, uh, they look really nice. There are three guys minding the thing. Here we, we only see two guys. What? Oh, I already did. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of strange. I wonder if that's a bug or if that's intended. Because there's only two guys on each of these. There's one. No, no. Wait, there's one here. One, two, three. Oh, there are four. Wow, okay. That's interesting. So maybe it is intended just to have less employees for the bigger plants. Um, could be. Okay. So now we have sufficient amounts of energy to run our factory. Oh, and I'm still very concerned about all of these spots that are getting insufficient resources, which is not great. Very, very, very much not great. But at least we have four of these fitting areas now so that we can process these cars. Looks like the next thing is, of course, the dreaded Servoville right here. Uh, we already have more than enough of these window fitting places. Oh, haha! -ha. Look at this, cute with the spoiler on the back. Nice. So let's I'll put it at 70% premium uh, because <laughs> because we can. Um, we'll call it. <laughs> I thought of a name, but I probably shouldn't use that. Uh, we'll call it uh, dandelion. I don't know because it might take off with the wind. You never can tell. All right. All right. So these are fitting of windows. I must check. We need, <laughs> we only need 2.2 .2 and I think we have four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we have too many window things. Where else do we have problems? Looks like here we have some insufficiency of resources occasionally. Right here, what is this? These are wheels. Are we making wheels? I think we decided we're not making wheels. Oh, we are, look at that. Wow, <laughs> they need two steel for each wheel. This may be one of these things that we're not gonna make them anymore because they just take too much, too many of our resources. In fact, I think we deleted them because we're supposed to have a ton of those things to actually supply the factory consistently. Yeah, all right, we'll take those off. We do not have enough importer slots. Look at these guys, they're all behind. They all are, wow, just, like overloaded to the max with stuff. Huh. All right. So I think the next thing is if we want to make, um, uh, a couple of episodes ago, I was discussing this idea of, you know, making a large chassis building area and then sending the cars along their merry way along this little line that snakes out to build different models of cars. You know, this is going to be our deluxe version, uh, but we could make some lower end models and try to get that sorted. So to that end, I was going to program my spreadsheet to say, okay, we're going to have, we're going to make for this number of exits in the factory. So here's two. I probably would only use those two and not this one because it's an, an inconvenient spot. So we've got two there. There's one there, one there. Ugh, I don't like them when they're just singleton. So there's two more there. So I'm thinking we could do two more lines of two each. So if I program my thing, this one had three at the end of this line here, I believe. We have one, two, and three. So three plus four is seven. So if I program my spreadsheet to have seven, of these export slots, I then come up with different amounts of chassis building stuff. 
So I think what I'll do is I will start, I don't know, should I start? I guess I could start at this end, why not? And, uh, and work my way back. Uh, but we'd have to delete all of this stuff. So that's just fine. All right, let's just revamp the whole factory. Why not? It's time. Probably should pause. That would be good. Actually, I can keep it running just to keep all of these things going along here. As the world gets eaten. It's like the never-ending story. Oh, stuff. No, it's the nothing. It's attacking all of our cars. It's kind of a waste uh, for these materials, but that's okay. We're going to be all right. So, uh, undercarriage and then fuel tank is the last one we need to worry about. Okay, great. So that's these guys. Cool. So I feel like I didn't waste any any materials here, which is nice. Okay, good. Boom. Okay. Yay! Well, that was good. Okay, so let's go ahead and just start with this. Fuel tanks. How many of these fuel tank makers do we need? We're going to need, let's see, 7.6 with all robots. That sounds like a good number to have. How do I want to do this? Shoot. Could do them this way. Hmm. One. Whoa. So I need eight. Fuel tank. Two. Three. Four. four. Need fuel tank. Four. Okay, and then this one. Hmm, I don't want to make it that close. I want to make it further, just a little bit further. Let's go here. And that way we can have one going here. This is going to go along this way. Also gonna have another line, and that's that gonna be that line. Okay, so here we're gonna need entry slots into each of these little assemblers. Here we're gonna need actually, oh, 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 we could go the other way. That would be just fine. All right, that's that's good. Yep. Sorry, talking to myself just a little bit here, uh, but we will do the fittings of the fuel tanks here. So one. Uh, two, three, and four. Boom. So these conveyors are going to go this way. Okay. And they're going to go along that way. So these all are going to meet up and go around and collect them all, sell, collect all of them at the end. So this is going to be entrance belt for the next, for this, this area here. And we're going to need all robots, I think, on all of these things because there's no reason to not have them, you know, why not? Bye, bye, bye. I forgot if we're making fuel tanks, we might be. Okay, let's configure these. I can't wait until that UI change where it's gonna be tabbed instead of um, having to click, click, click all the time. That would be so awesome. I'm very, very excited about that change that's coming up, hopefully in the next uh, patch or update, I guess I could say. All right, almost done. We're almost there. I forgot if we're making fuel tanks. It's, it's been a few days since I've played last time, and um, I have this feeling we're making them over, over there in the factory somewhere. Somewhere over the rainbow. There might be some there. Anyway. Okay, there we go. Awesome. So that's our eight fuel tank assemblers. What else do we need? We're going to need our undercarriage. We need five of those. The fitting of the undercarriage. The problem is, is that these guys are just so uh, inconveniently spaced. If I do this one right over here, 
could get away with it. One, two, um, three, oh, right, right, four, and five. There we go. It does actually work if I use the full width of the factory. But this also means that if I have extra space left over, I won't be able to use it because of this um, this design here. So I could turn these things sideways if I wanted to do so. Not sure that that's worth it though. We could just say, okay, we're not going to use that part of the factory and it'll be all right. So I don't know. All right, great. So that is the undercarriage. We need the fitting of the axles. Now, whoa, we have a drive shaft too. Was that there before? Yes, it was. Okay, we need four of those. Uh, oh, wait. For these, the axle or the undercarriage, we do. Uh, let's get all the robots for these. Why not? There we go. Let's get all the robots. One, two, and three. Configure stuff. There we are. Two and three. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. You can do it thing. I don't even know if I'm making these things. I don't think so. I don't think we're actually making undercarriages. Probably, yep, yeah, we, we can't actually, so that's just fine. So a drive shaft. How many do we need of those? We need four with all robots involved in the process. I'm just gonna just put them at the edge here since we've already committed to going to the edge. One, two, three, and four. Perfect. All right. gonna bother with the importers right now because we can't actually make these at the moment. Oh, and I have heard that um, if you own the game, you can now, or not now, but in the next update, you will be able to vote on the, um, the devs next priority for making stuff uh, work in the game. So that's going to be a really exciting thing. It's going to be on the loading screen, or not the loading screen, but the main menu of the game, so that you can choose what you think um, the dev should work on next. Okay, so for these rear axles, we're going to need five. One, two, three, four, and five. Or was it axles we had working over there? I don't remember. I should go and look so that I, I know what we're thinking. Oh my goodness. Oh, no, no, no. There we are. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, it's cool. It works. It's all good. Okay, good. I should have deleted this line here. Ugh. Shift click these and hopefully they don't destroy stuff. Okay, so we do need our robots here. Definitely. I'm gonna just do all of the robots just because you can never have it done too fast, right? It's gonna use electri extra electricity, but um, it's okay, I'm not bothered. Really, really not bothered. I think, well, and then the other thing is, is you know, I've been looking at all of these like supply shortfalls and stuff like that. And even if there's a supply shortfall, maybe it can help out with having a little bit of extra oomph in the robot um, you know, area. Okay, front axles are also, we're going to need five of those. Three, four. Oh, wow, that just fits. Very tasty. Well, we could have gone backward. I mean, wow, there's a lot of, there's a lot of space over there, but we can use that space for manufacturing axles or whatever we want to make. Uh, so that is not a difficulty. I think that's a pretty good idea. Oh, well, why am I doing this? We don't even need these. Front axles are the first things we put on a car. Okay, this is great. So let's add our resource importer over here. 
uh, and we can connect all these up. But I think we're going to wait until next time before doing so. I'm going to get all these uh, robots bought so that we can have it ready for the next episode. So um, I probably will do the next episode when the next update hits. Uh, so that we can just take advantage of new features of the game. So don't be distressed if it's not tomorrow. Anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.